Today we're going to visit a few of our patients, Bill and Claire. We're going to meet with them in their home and have a conversation about their medications, any issues or concerns they might be having. And we're going to keep in mind that it's not just about the medication itself. We want to discuss all factors involved. The first thing we want to do is call ahead, make sure that they're aware that we're coming and they're ready for our visit. We also want to make sure that any pills that they have are on hand and that any instructions they received are available so we can be sure we're giving them the best advice. We're going to discuss things like medication adherence, which is actually getting your medications as prescribed from the pharmacy, and medication compliance, which is basically making sure you're taking your pills on time and as prescribed. According to studies from the Annals of Internal Medicine, 20 to 30% of prescriptions are never filled at all. And about 28% of patients over 40 report failing to fill prescriptions on time. According to the National Stroke Association, medication adherence issues can lead to unnecessary disease progressions and complications, reduced functional abilities and quality of life, additional medication costs and physician visits, and unnecessary changes to your medication. And information from the National Community Pharmacists Association concerning medication compliance showed that 57% of patients admitted to missing a dose, 22% take lower doses than prescribed, and 14% stop taking their medications altogether. Information from the Mayo Clinic tells us that 50% of patients with chronic illness don't take their medications as prescribed. This can lead to hospital stays averaging four days in length, increased risk of morbidity and death, and costs the overall healthcare system of $100 billion per year. Some of the issues involving medication adherence include price. CVS pharmacies identified one third of their patients did not fill the prescriptions because of the price. And at times, simply access to pharmacies is a reason people can't fill their prescriptions. And sometimes it's the sheer number of medications you have, tracking when your refills are due, what medication is due when, can make it overwhelming for people. And then we have to look at compliance issues. Why do people not take the medications when they have them available? Fear plays a large role. If patients are worried about the side effects or experience undesirable side effects, they might try to adjust their regimen to avoid or lessen these effects. No signs of improvement or signs of significant improvement. If the patient believes a medication is not working, they might feel compelled to stop taking the drug. On the other hand, if a medication helps greatly, patients may believe that taking the medication is no longer necessary or they might want to preserve it in the event symptoms return. Now we circle back around to poor tracking. As the number of pills a patient must take increases, keeping track of when the patients are supposed to take which medications can prove difficult. Compliance might suffer if patients don't understand why they need to take the medication or if they struggle to follow the instructions. To help improve our patients' general adherence and compliance, Let's discuss their ability to pay for medications and their access to pharmacy with each appointment. We can recommend generic medications as an alternative when they speak with their doctor. We can provide information about prescription assistance programs uh, and discuss ways that pharmacies can help with access issues, delivery services, refill reminders, or automatic refill services. Always ask them if they're taking the medications on schedule and as prescribed. Review the possible side effects of each medication and have a conversation about what they should do when they experience these side effects. Stress for them the importance of following a regimen and the possible risks involved in deviation. Recommend the patients use great tools such as blister packs to support them in keeping track of their medication and provide them with information about who and when to call when they have any questions about their medications. 
And let's not forget to make sure that we tailor each solution to the problems and the patient at hand. Take a quick break, answer some questions about this section, and we'll be back shortly to discuss medication review processes and polypharmacy. <laughs>